Hello, welcome to the start of another studio vlog. It is Monday, 28th of February, the last day of the month, um, and it's freezing outside, it's raining, hence why I look like this. I wanted to start the vlog today. I didn't vlog last week, I put up a Q&A instead. But turns out people don't really watch those videos, people just come here for studio vlogs, so I thought I'll do a studio vlog. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different because what, a few questions that came up in the Q&A and questions I'm asked all the time are what hours do you work, what's your schedule like, like when are you in the office, when are you at home um, and I feel like the way I do studio vlogs now I kind of vlog one day or maybe two but I, when I first started I used to vlog every day so I used to see what I got up to every day. So this week I am going to film every day, we're going to figure out how many hours I work on average. So I'm hoping it's not going to be a really long vlog, I'm not going to film everything I'm doing every day but more to just document when I'm here, when I leave, um, things like that, so you can see. It's now 10 to 9, but I arrived here at 20 past 8. Mondays is a nursery day for Luca, so I take Luca to nursery and I come here. Monday is the, the earliest day, really, that I come into the office. At, I aim to get here about half 8, sometimes it's 9 o'clock, just depends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan my week out on here. I'm wondering if we need to update this. Are we ready for a new design? I feel like I'm ready for a new design. And I'm going to plot out my week and what I'm going to get done. It's a good week to document also because it's the start of a new month tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first. I have a lot of things that I do in the first week of the month. A lot of like I'm a bit all over the place with business and like I never know what I'm going to do on a given day. Everything's different. But in the first week of a month, I have some like routines that I do because I have a Patreon and I need to update them with what's coming and I just have things that I do. So yeah, I think it's a good week to document really. First job is to plan out my week, get it all down on paper, get it out of my head. Um, and then we can make a start. So I am not really all planned out because I don't like to fill every day because things change. So I've planned the first couple of days. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. But my goals this week are to get the Patreon, ser Patreon Kickstarter surveys out. So as soon as the campaign ends tomorrow, I can send surveys out. Um, stickers made and sent. I am going to an event in March and I'm going to send some stickers for them to give out for free. So I need to sort those out this week. Um, I'm sure there's another goal as well, but I'm going to leave, leave that blank. Um, today, I, what I've done is I've put hours worked and then what we'll do at the end of every day is make a little note and we'll see how many hours I do. But today's agenda, um, I've got a Zoom call at 10 o'clock with my patrons, uh, portraits time three. So I don't do portraits anymore, but I've got a lovely friend who um, I draw her uh, team members uh, in her business and I've got three to do so I'm gonna do that. Um, surveys so I need to get those all finalized for Kickstarter. I've got a few orders to do. I have a post I want to put up, a quote post today. Um, I need to share my Patreon schedule. Um, I want to film a little video for YouTube um, as like a thank you Kickstarter video that will go up once the campaign has finished um, and then those stickers that I talked about I need to work on those so it's not a crazy busy day today um, I like to get Luca about four o'clock on a Monday so that should work out Tuesday's a day off like always but my Kickstarter ends at 12 so I have a couple of things that will go out but I will schedule those so I don't actually have to work tomorrow Wednesday, uh, right now all I know is that I want to get my Patreon content for the week done on Wednesday. So I have three yeah, three things going out this week um, and I'm going to get those done. And then everything else, I don't really have a plan. I've got a few things I need to buy, some new postage labels and those stickers that I was talking about. And then these are kind of the key to-do lists that I want to to do things I want to get done this week. So I can tick those off. Habit tracker this week. Um, breakfast. I am really bad at having breakfast so this week's focus I know I've put a space for three but I try and just do one a week like try and like really 
do it. And this week is breakfast. I'm going to tackle it. I'm going to have breakfast every single day. I know it's ridiculous. I know some people it's just natural, but for me, I skip breakfast a lot. So I'm going to work on that. So this is like the plan so far. I am going to get started. I It's now nine o'clock. So I've got an hour till my Zoom call. So before that, I am going to work on some other little bits. I'll check in with you in a little bit. Uh, let you know how I'm doing, let you know how my to-do list is looking and the time check. Um, but yeah, my aim is to be here till four o'clock today. So it's now a few hours later. I thought I would check in, let you know how the day is going. It's 10 to 1. I can't remember when I spoke to you. Was it like 9 o'clock, something like that? It's been a busy old morning. So um, actually, the best thing to do, let me show you the to-do list and what I've ticked off. So this was the to-do list I made for today. I did the Zoom call at 10 o'clock. I have just finished the three portraits and emailed them off. That took the longest. Um, orders has an X through it because I have two orders. Um, these two. I have Simone's order, which is two prints. And I have Levine's order, which is two prints, a mouse mat and a, and a notepad. The problem I've got is my prints. Um, I went to print them out and my maintenance box on my uh, printer is full. As soon as it's like not working, your maintenance box on an eco tank, you cannot print anymore. So I've ordered another one, but it'll be Wednesday when I send those out. But that's fine. So I can't do orders. Um, I've posted to Instagram. I have shared my Patreon schedule. So the only three things I have on my to-do list now are to complete my Kickstarter surveys. I wanted to film a YouTube video, but I might not do that. I was going to, but I look a hot mess. Not a good look, is it? <laughs> so I don't know if I'll film a YouTube video, maybe not. Um, and I'm gonna work on the sticker design. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, is to, it's well, nearly five to one now. I am gonna have some lunch. I've brought soup with me. I'm gonna make some lunch. I am going to have um, a lunch break, maybe half an hour. I do this, I have my lunch and work while I'm eating. But you still need to have a little break. <laughs> I haven't stopped since I came in. So um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get cracking on the surveys, get those done so that they can be sent out as soon as the campaign finishes tomorrow. But I'm on track with my day, it's nearly one o'clock. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go make some lunch. <laughs> So it's two o'clock already and I've done the surveys. That was really, really quick. Um, they've changed the way you do surveys. Last time it took me forever, <laughs> but that was pretty quick. So that's done. I've got a random light here. Um, so now I need to do the sticker design to send off for these goodie bags for this event. And I was thinking, right, I could design a new sticker and have 75 of them printed, um, which might cost me, I don't know, 50, 60 quid. Or I can send them lots of things from my current shop because look at how many bookmarks I have <laughs> and postcards and stickers. And I just think it'd be nice to design a sticker but I'd rather send things from my shop that I've already got printed. So I have 75 to send. So I think what I'm gonna do is get 75 postcards and 75 bookmarks. Sorry, it's very dark, isn't it? And see, but I think that's a bit nice, isn't it? Just have a, a few bits of stuff that I already have. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So there we go, I've packaged lots of postcards, bookmarks, this box is crammed. Um, so hopefully 
that's enough for the event i really hope so and i'm actually gonna um take my camera with me to that event so it's in about a month's time i'm there all weekend so and i've got a table there like a little market i think i'm speaking i don't really know um so i'll take my camera and you can come with me um but that's in a few weeks time so let's have a look at the to-do list shall we it is now 10 past two and we've done everything i can kind of tick that off but even though it's not this i've done something different this i'm not going to do <laughs> so i have achieved everything i wanted to today this is one thing that i do <laughs> or i try to do when i've ticked off everything on my to-do list i call it a day i don't try and find other things to do it unless it's something really pressing but it should have been on my to-do list if that's the case I, I either call it a day or i move on to fun things not work stuff and that's what i'm going to do today so um it's quarter past two i am going to stay till four o'clock because that's when i get luca from nursery and it's on the way home so it just makes sense so i'm going to draw now last month's creative challenge on patreon the theme was reimagining characters i do this every year where you take a character and you reimagine it um you can change the gender you can change the age you can change anything really and have a bit of fun with it um and i don't think anybody's taken part this month um it's not really a big thing anymore my art challenges um and i don't know if i'll carry on with them if if people aren't really interested but I really want to have a go so i was thinking um i might draw raja from aladdin the tiger but as jasmine in my head this works but i don't know if it will so i'm just gonna sit and draw and have a lovely time um so i'll do that i will check in with you at four o'clock when i leave show you what i've done and then i'll have a day off tomorrow so i am heading home i have been drawing i have been working on this new little tiger illustration i actually went live on instagram and did it which was really fun so thank you if you came on um but i'm gonna go it's 25 to 4 i don't know why i'm hanging around till 4 i've done everything i wanted to do so i'm gonna go so on here hours worked i'm gonna put 8 30 until 3 30 five i'll work out the hours at the end of the week but yeah and that was a very good day got everything ticked off my list um i'll be off tomorrow um if i get any work done i'll let you know because obviously the kickstarter ends i might take the camera home with me actually and if i decide to do any work i can document it but i'm back here on wednesday hello it is tuesday and i'm at home and i, I said i might film it is 20 past five and I have done no work today. <laughs> um, it, it's a day off, so I don't normally work on a Tuesday, but um, I didn't know if I would do a little bit of something, but I haven't, and I don't think I'm going to. I normally try and leave the house on a Tuesday and take Luca somewhere, but we're doing toilet training at the minute. <laughs> um, so I am, this week he is staying home and we're really like nailing it. I didn't want to try and do it and then be out the house and, I don't know I feel like I just want to get him comfortable going to the toilet at home and then once he's like cracked that he's going to go to nursery and do it and then we'll start venturing out so because I haven't left the house today I thought oh, I get a bit bored and I thought I might end up going on my laptop pottering about and doing some bits but I haven't so um I just wanted to check in and let you know that zero hours have been worked today the only thing I've kind of done is my Kickstarter ended today. It ended at um, 12. So I jumped on a live um, on Instagram for about 15, 20 minutes um, and kind of watched that happen. But other than that, I haven't done anything. I was going to like post on Instagram to say thank you and stuff. But you know what? I'm just enjoying a day off. <laughs> I sent the surveys out that I did yesterday and I think over a third of them come back and probably half of them I haven't checked so that's really good so yeah I'm just enjoying a chilled out Tuesday not worrying too much about work I keep checking Instagram but that's just what I do <laughs> and I'm just dealing with toilet training so um I am going to head out for some food soon to celebrate and um I'll be back in the studio tomorrow so Wednesdays is kind of a, a 
we share Luca on a Wednesday. So Matt, my partner, he works in the morning. So he'll get up and go to work. I think he said he's working at like 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is crazy. And he might work till maybe 10. So I'll be here till 10. And then when he comes home, I head off to work and he has Luca all day. That'll be my plan. I'll start a little bit later. But on a Wednesday, he stays at my mum's house. So one day a week, Luca stays out of the house. He goes to my mum's. So I don't see Luca on a Wednesday, really. And that's another reason why I like to spend my Tuesdays with him. But it means I don't need to rush home tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow at the studio to get lots done. Um, I can't remember what we put on the to-do list, but I know I've got loads to do, so I'll see you then. Okay, slight change of plan in that um, I've had like a dream guest speaker that I've wanted to come on my Patreon and they've just confirmed for this month. So I... I'm too excited. I'm gonna um, get my laptop, make a little graphic, and I'm gonna share that on Patreon because um, I want people to join it and I want them to... I could do it tomorrow. I know I could do it tomorrow, but the Luca is happy right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna do 20 minutes of work. It's 25 to 6 now. I'll be done with it by 6. It's not, it's not even work. It's not even work. 25 minutes, that's it. Okay, look. It's 5.58, 5.59, and I'm done. That, that's all I'm doing, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> 25 minutes, that's all I'm working today. I'm gonna close my laptop and call it a night. Um, but yeah, it's okay to have a day off. It's okay to have a day off, and it's also okay to sneak and do a little bit on your day off. Like, whatever you wanna do, you make the rules. Do what you want, I don't care, do what you want. Hello, good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, Mommy? Yes, darling. Guess what? What? Luca is on the toilet. <laughs> toilet drain is still going well. Um, I'm sat here having a coffee and I've got on my laptop to check on my Patreon. So it's the second of the month and I tend to, that's the time where I have a look at where I'm at with Patreon because people's pledges have gone through you can see who's left who's stayed um, who's joining and um i tend to just have a little nausea on the second of the month once that's all done see where i'm at and um i won't say i'm panicking but it's um I'm, my patron is down a lot um and when it's your main source of income it can be really scary Mommy. what babe Hang on, he's finished on the toilet. Let me go and sort him. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry, I'm back. Um, why am I sharing this? I'm sharing it because yesterday was amazing, and my Kickstarter's done really well. And I just want to show that not everything is like, yay, it's going amazing. Because looking at my Patreon, it's coming down now. Like I could have. I rode that wave, it went really well, and this could be the start of it going all crashing down. Um, and I just want to talk about it because I don't, I get messages all the time from people saying, like, people are leaving my Patreon, it's not working out. And I used to be able to give tips and advice when mine was growing, but now mine's coming down too. So I'm almost like, I just say to people, I don't know what I can say because mine's coming down too. Let me show you. So this is a graph of my earnings on Patreon since I started. So as you can see, that's when I started and that was the initial growth for me. And then that big drop down is just because um, this was when I was doing it in dollars and then I changed to pounds. So that's technically the same. Does that make sense? And then I've just been on like this straight since, yeah. So it's been pretty consistent for me for the past over a year. Like, it's been the same. A few uh, things here when I've done goodie boxes. This is this month. So th that drop there is a drop of about, let's see, about £400 drop. You know, <laughs> it's huge my mortgage payment 
Um, so I have to be prepared and I have to start putting more things in place as backup. Um, and that's just where my head's at at the minute. It's just like I put everything into Patreon and I still am going to do. But the time has gone where that the loads of people were joining. It's not going to I think that's done now, I think. So, yeah, just a bit of a hard truth this morning. Is coming in, checking that and being like, oh gosh, yeah, Emily, you need to pull your finger out. So, yeah, that's how I'm starting my Wednesday. But it's all good. I'm feeling great. Like I said, kickstart went amazing. Um, like, that's awesome. I just wanted to balance it, really, to show you that it's not all perfect. <clears throat> so, it's 10 to 10. I look like this. <laughs> um... So the plan of action is to get dressed and head to work as soon as Matt's done with his work. I think it's half ten he's going to be done. I thought it was ten. So. Right, I'll see you at the office where I look a bit more presentable. Um, so I've just arrived. Well, no, I haven't. That's a lie. It's 11.35. I've been here about 15 minutes. I've just made a quick reel um, and uploaded that. Um, so yeah, let me show you my to-do list for today because I've just added a couple of things. Yesterday was obviously a day off. I wanted to do a thank you post. But I didn't do that. But I did have my schedule go up, my Patreon schedule. So today is Wednesday. Um, I want to do discount codes, wallpapers, a digital download for Patreon. I want to do my orders. Um, Mary Poppins, so this is my goodie box. I'm going to work a little bit on that. I want to do a thank you post for yesterday. And I want to finish the tiger that I worked on on Monday. And I think the tiger will be the wallpaper, so they will tie in. The problem with the orders I've got is that cartridge I ordered came yesterday, but I forgot to bring it. So I need to nip home and get that. So I think what I'm going to do is work on discount codes, digital download. I'm going to do my thank you post. I'm going to finish the tiger and I'm going to make the wallpaper. I'm going to try and do all that before 2, 3 o'clock. I'm going to nip home, get my cartridge, and then I can do orders. And I'm going to work on Mary Poppins uh, this evening. I've also had... Uh, something come to my PO box as well, which I forgot to bring. I've left them on my stairs. So I will open that in a bit. But for now, I'm going to work away on these and I will be back with you in a few hours. So it's now two o'clock and um, I definitely haven't got done what I want to get done. Um, the dig digital download, um, I wanted it to be um, like a notepad or something. And I've had this idea for ages that I've wanted to do like a packing list checklist <laughs> um i'm starting to pack for my holiday and i know that i wanted one so i thought what if i make one i can download it and then i can share it with my patrons and now i'm looking at it i'm thinking i really want to get these printed as actual pads and sell them as like digital downloads as well so i'm torn honestly do i put it on patreon for free for everybody Everyone, I'm hoping, would really like it. It's a nice little treat. Um, or do I do something else and sell this? Or do I do both? Do I put it in my shop as a digital download? I could maybe print a few as well to have in the shop. But my patrons get it free. Might be a really bad business decision. <laughs> because the download, I might make it like £1.50 or something. And I'm essentially just going to give it out for free to like 350 people. But, yeah, I think it's a good thing to do. I think it's a lovely surprise for my patrons to get. And let me show you it anyway. So it's this. I've designed it at A4 size, but I think it will work at printed at A5 as well. So this space for you to put your clothes, a to-do list, shoes, accessories, documents, um, electricals and tech and toiletries and other. And I just think it's a nice little thing to have, you know, when you're packing for your holidays. I've done all these little illustrations as well. I definitely spent way longer on that than I should have. <laughs> but you know what? I made the decision. I'm going to upload it to Patreon as a little gift for everybody. And then I'm going to make a download version of it for people so they can actually download it on Etsy and things. But they can join my Patreon and get it free. Um, so yeah, so I've done that. I need to upload it. I've done my discount codes. The next job is to finish the tiger, make a wallpaper out of it. I'm hoping to have that finished in the next hour. I'm then going to nip home and um, get the things I've left at home, do the orders. And then that leaves me with 
Mary Poppins stuff, so it, it's worked out okay. So um, I'm gonna work on the tiger now. I've just nipped home, it's 10 past four. I left here at half three. So I've just had 40 minutes off work. Um, I need to make a note of that so you know for the hours. I popped home, grabbed my maintenance box. So this is what it is that I need to replace on the printer. Um, I got it from cartridgepeople.com. Um, it was free delivery, it was six pounds, and it came the next day. So um, we'll figure out, I've already done this once before, but it was back when I worked at home. We'll figure out how to do that in a minute, get the prints done, do the orders. But I've had a delivery and I'm very excited to open it. It's come to my PO box, so I don't know what it is. But what I do know is that it's from the Odd Bod Stop. And this is a shop owned by Lainey. I know her as Elena because um, she's placed i think nearly the most amount of orders in my shop like she's up there as like my best customer she's a patron and i didn't realize she had her own shop so um very kindly been sent some stuff so i thought it'd be really good i mean she supports me i just love to do it back so let's have a look oh my gosh this box is filled and you know oh my god this is gonna make me so happy. Um, I love when you send me notes on my own stationery. It's just it's so gorgeous. Oh, Elena, Lainey. Um, thank you. Ah, oh, you know when I was feeling a bit rubbish earlier. <laughs> Not rubbish, but um, she's just put here. I wanted to say how the community of creators you have made on Patreon is an inspiration on, and safe place for creators, and joining was one of the best decisions I could have made. So it's almost like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it goes down to ten people. When you get messages like that, it just it it's just everything. It says here, um, I'm sending you a few products from my shop, which will launch on March fourth. So in two days' time. When this vlog might go up, no, maybe not, I won't get it up in time, but when this video's up, the shop will be live. Along with a sneak peek at some products I'll be releasing later in the year, wrapped separately. I've also included a small present for Luca. I would like to offer your community code, EMILY15, to get 15% off. And that will run from the 4th of March until the 4th of June. I'll leave all these details below. So let's have a look, let's just have a look, shall we? She sent me a couple of Disney postcards. This, um is one of my most favourite images from the Tangled concept art. I absolutely love it. And this one, it's Princess and the Frog. She just, you know when you just know somebody gets you? Amazing. And she's popped a little envelope in with a stamp on it so I can reply back. I love when you do that. <laughs> if you can pop an envelope in with your address and a little stamp on it, I will write you a note back. I will actually write this now and send it. So let's have a look. We've got, is this one upside down? Yes, it is. It's like Alice in Wonderland. It says the maddest of them all. And this is very, um, very Disney, isn't it? Love it. Oh my gosh. My favourite ride in Hollywood Studios is the Tower of Terror. Look how amazing that is. Drop in any time. Love that. A little key ring. Drop in any time. We've been dying to meet you. That's Haunted Mansion, right? Then we have Meet Me at the Castle. We have The Maddest of Them All. A Pirate's Life for Me. So if you're a Disney fan, those are for you. Happily Ever After. Got a little pin here, which is the same as the print that I showed earlier. We have a little notebook with a little pencil with the same design on it. It's just such a lovely little collection you've got going on there. And then what I think is happening in here is this is wrapped separately and I think this is the stuff coming later in the year. Reach for the stars and there's a little bookmark and some stickers as well. Oh, it's all just so lovely. 
And finally, for my little man, he loves Frozen so much. So there's a little Kristoff postcard for him. There's some more stickers, I won't get them out because I'll let him get them out. But they're the same stickers from before. A couple of little badges for him. A little pirate ship crane which can go in his bedroom. Elena, Laney, thank you so so much. I am like so thrilled with everything you've sent. I really hope your shop launch goes really well. That was lovely. I'm so thrilled with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in the tote bag to take home with me. So yeah, for now the plan of action is to tackle this. Um, I have done it before. You kind of open the back of it up. We can do this. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that So the maintenance box works, the prints look lovely, I'm so glad I did it, um, and I have done my orders. So I've ticked off everything on today's agenda. The only thing I haven't ticked off is Mary Poppins work and working on the goodie box. However, it's now five o'clock and I'm conscious that those orders should have gone out yesterday or the day before even, so I need to get to a post box and the final, the time at the local post box is six o'clock. So I'm going to end my day here um, and I'm going to do that. True, realise I've not written a note to Elena, so let me do that first, one second. So I've written a little note back and pop that in the little envelope. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I want to get to the post box before six, so I'm going to call it a night. And if I happen to do any work later on Mary Poppins in terms of like research and things, I'll make a note of how long I spend on it and I will add it to the sheet tomorrow. But to be honest, by the time I get home, I might not want to. <laughs> Before I go, what I'm going to do is kind of cross that off and I'm going to um, make a little to-do list for tomorrow because if you remember on Monday, I didn't add anything to Thursday because I didn't know where we'd be at. So tomorrow I'm here um first thing and i'll be here till the afternoon yeah it's a, it's a nice full day so i'm going to work on mary poppins tomorrow for sure i want to tidy the office up i am going to my content scheduled for patreon so i don't need to worry about that um i think i'm going to finalize and check <laughs> uh washi tapes for the kickstarter and I'm gonna finalize and check the pins and the patch. Let's do that, let's get them all done. Um, just triple check everything, check they've got the right colors and everything. I think I'll leave it at that and then see how I am tomorrow because I don't know what might have come in and I don't know what I need to get done. I'm just literally waiting for these surveys to be completed before I can put any orders in and well, I need the money first so. Just try and get everything finalised by the middle of March and then I can get started. So that's one thing I wanted to do before I leave. And the other thing I wanted to do was, um, I didn't do a sales tracker in February because I tracked my Kickstarter backers and I could do to bring those down and put March up. I'll do that tomorrow. Let's make a note of that. But 
it would still be good to look at how many sales I did get in February even though it wasn't my main focus because I have my year overview over here and I will put the number up there so let's have a little nosy so on my website it says I did 44 orders that's really good my goal is 50 a month and then it'll change certain months like Christmas will be higher and things but 50 a month is good for me to get 44 without it being my main focus is so amazing however there's some that were hedge bob orders so I am not going to count those so let's see I think there was two so let's say 42 orders on my shop and then on etsy 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 orders on etsy that's really good so i got 60 orders i'm thrilled with that oh yeah i'm really really happy with that so let me add it to my wall come with me i'm happy with that i'm smiling happy as larry now I'm gonna go, I will see you tomorrow. Also, I just forgot to say, it's now 10 past five, so I've just done another hour. <laughs> Again, I'll add up all these hours at the end. Hello, good merry morning to you. It's Thursday, and I need to just put something on my lips because they're so dry. It's half 10, I've just rolled into work. And um, as you can see, I'm not a morning person. Um, this is only recently. I used to come in really early. Um, I've been struggling. I've been struggling the past few weeks. It takes me a while to get round and um, today's the start of, you know, that time of the month. So I've been feeling a bit rubbish. I wanted to go see Luca because I didn't see him yesterday. So I've had a brew at my mum's house. Anyway, I'm here. And I'm here until I go to a dance class tonight. Um, I do a dance class that's a new thing this year don't really talk about it um it's like ballroom latin beginner class um i do that at seven so it's half ten and i'll be here till i head off for that i think um so it's a nice like it's a nice chill day today um we'll go through the to-do list in a minute but i've had a package i've been waiting for this for ages this i've ordered this week's got and it was meant to come before before the Kickstarter ended, so um, I ordered. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god! Oh, it came out perfectly. I ordered a load of the freebie stickers for the Kickstarter to see how they'll look, but also to help promote the Kickstarter. And then they never came in time, but they came out so beautifully. So <laughs> here's the first sticker. Is because of you the fairy tale came true and look at the gold foil on that you know when you're so nervous that something's not going to work like you picture it and you hope that it works out well it did <laughs> so that's the, the vinyl sticker never done this before a gold foiled sticker sheet to match aren't they absolutely gorgeous and they're the freebies and when I do a Kickstarter and I do mock-ups of these things, I worry that it looks good on a mock-up, but when it actually comes, it doesn't look great. Well, I think those look pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to share those on Patreon in a minute so they can see. Let's go through today's to-do list. So today's plan of action, I'm going to tidy the office. I'm going to do that first. Um, I'm going to put up March's trackers. Um, and then I'm going to see this thing. I've put finalised things, but I also want to look through the surveys to see how many of these things I need to get. So I'm going to just kind of work on Kickstarter a little bit. It might not be these three things, but it'll definitely be Kickstarter related. And I also need to work on Mary Poppins stuff. So I think um, this morning I'm going to tidy the office. I'm going to do my trackers and I'm going to edit this vlog so far. And then that will take me to maybe one o'clock and then this afternoon I'm going to work on Kickstarter and Mary Poppins. I also want to get it out there that it's Mary Poppins uh, inspired because 
there's about 70 people with goodie boxes. I normally have about 100, so it would be good to get more people in there. Um, but I think showing and teasing what's coming will help that. So, first job is to tidy up, because uh, it's a mess. <laughs> I am just editing this vlog that you're watching now, just trying to get a head start on it, because there's so much footage. Um, I'm really struggling with pain, <laughs> um, cramps and things. I don't talk about it ever on a studio vlog. Um, but this vlog is all about the schedule and how much I work. And when I feel like this, I know it will affect how long I work today. Um, I've literally been editing the vlog, just doing this, just rocking back and forth. <laughs> it's just the worst, isn't it? I really suffer every month, it's horrible. In ways it's worse than labour pains were. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about it because um, it's all right to say that it really hurts and it, you know, if you need to stop working, you can. I'm not going to, I'm okay. I'm gonna keep powering through, I'm gonna keep rocking like this. Um, I've got some painkillers and I need to get a hot water bottle. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, editing the vlog. <laughs> I'll check back in once I'm done. It's half 11 if you wanted a time check. Right, I seem to have forgot that I was filming today because it's now half four. I finished editing the vlog so far at about 10 to one. So I was on track with that. And then I decided, because on my to-do list it says finalize washi, finalize pins. I was really curious to see how many of things people have selected. So I thought, do you know what, what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, export all of the backers information and start a Google spreadsheet. I did this with my last big Kickstarter and I had this massive spreadsheet and um, I decided to do it again and set it up and it's taken me hours but it's finally sorted. I still have about over six, just over 60 people to um, input their um, what they want into a survey but that means I have nearly 300 people on here now and it's color coded and I know what's happening let me show you let me show you so I can't show you anybody's details um but this section is just people's selections so um the green is the book pin the yellow is the wand pin the red is the key pin the blue is the crown and then um I have all of that in and then all of this is like notes they've left me red is like issues that I need to get in touch with the person for it's just um yeah <laughs> so I've done all of that I have everybody's shipping information like everything's in there I know what their add-ons are I can't show you that bit because it's got addresses on it but um I feel a bit more um organized with it when I look at my to-do list <laughs> I've not done, I've not finalised the washi, I haven't worked on the pins, I haven't worked on the patch, but what I have done is the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna write that in like you do and give it a big old tick, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go away, work on Mary Poppins, I'll be back to show you what I've done, then we'll write a little to-do list for tomorrow because I don't think there'll be much to do. Um, and we'll call it a day. Right, we've come to the end of the day. I am so sorry for how long this vlog is. We are nearly, nearly, nearly done with the week. Um, gosh, you can't even see me. I've had a little cry tonight because <laughs> I'm watching This Is Us. Have you, does anybody watch This Is Us? I'm on season two. If you've watched This Is Us, you know why I'm crying in season two. Um, but I'm fine. So it's 20 past six. I have been working on Mary Poppins stuff. Um, there's not too much to show really, but I've just been planning out what I want to do. So this is a rough plan of what is going in the box. Um, I am working with blink lettering in this box. If you don't know Millie, go and check her out. I'm so excited. She does the most gorgeous calligraphy and I want to do a quote print with her handwriting and my illustrations around it. I've put this in as like a little guide. Um, I'm going to do a couple of postcards, one um, with Mary, my version of a Mary on it. I'm thinking a sticker sheet with loads of little props on it that I can then use here, so they link. Um, another postcard print, I just, the image of her on the horse, I love it and I want to do something here. 
and then a really lovely bookmark with just this iconic image here. So um, it is Mary Poppins. I will get comments about it because I always get questions about this. Like, are you allowed to do, um, are you allowed to sell Disney things? The answer is no, you're not. You're not allowed to sell Disney stuff. <laughs> um, people do, I don't. Um, so you'll never find in my shop anything that says like Disney's Elsa or Disney, you know, things like that. I don't do that. Um, I'm not perfect. So I do have things that I do that are inspired, but I never, um, it's just a hard line. It's very hard. Um, all I will say with your own work is if you're using like exact imagery, fonts, things like that, you just can't be really careful. Um, with my Patreon boxes, how I see it is people are signing up and kind of donating their money to support me as an artist. And in return, I'm sending them a gift, which is this box. Um, so this box will be inspired by Mary Poppins. It will have elements from the book as well as bits from the film, um, but it won't be a copy of Disney. It will be my interpretation of a few things. Um, and yeah, I hope, I hope that answers the question. Again, I'm not perfect and I'm still trying to figure it out myself, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to say that because I know there'll be some people that send me questions. Um, so that's done. I'm going to send this over to Millie tomorrow with my Pinterest board and some ideas. We have had a face, uh, like a, a video call to chat about it. Um, I just want to get her feedback on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just show you the little to do list for today. So here is Thursday. I have done Mary Poppins. So I've ticked off a few things. Some things I didn't tick off, but I did do the spreadsheet. So I'm quite happy with today. Um, so let's plan Friday. Right, so um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send bits to Millie uh, for Mary Poppins. I'm going to share the Kickstarter stickers to Instagram. I'm going to order, order some postage labels. I want to work on the pins and patch, finalise those and finalise the washi. So I'm going to go home. I will see you tomorrow for the final day of this vlog. Um, yeah, see you soon. Okay, it's Friday. Let's end this crazy long vlog. I didn't do one last week so I have made up for it this week and it's not going to be for everybody this kind of vlog. I'm not going to do this every week but I really wanted to answer the question of how much do I work and what do I do in a day and hopefully this vlog answers that question. It is now Friday and it's the end of the day, quarter to five. Um, I've been in here, I worked a little bit this morning on the things we put on our list. I had a lovely visitor come in to see me, so thank you Sam for coming in. Um, Sam Brackby Art, thank you so much, it was so much fun. And then I've been editing this vlog. So I have gone through and tallied up all of the hours that I put on this week and I have come to a final figure. So leave your guesses now, pause the video and leave your guesses below. I have worked 25 hours and 15 minutes this week. I don't know if that is, whether that's what you expected, um, but that is an average week for me. I spend about 25 hours. I have one day off a week um, and I don't work full days. So hopefully that answers your question. I don't work crazy hours like some people think I do. <laughs> I'm not a massive fan of this like, work all hours culture. Um, I think that I am very productive with my time. I get a lot done. I work really hard. Um, and at the end of the day, sometimes I like to go home early. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like and a little comment. Um, I'm going to get so much better with commenting on videos and I'm sorry that I've not been great with that in the past. Um, I do have to factor these things into my schedule um, and I will get better at it, I promise. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.